Okay, now we are talking peptic ulcers etiology. Main etiology. There are the basically I am going main etiology. First is a H pylori. H pylori and another is a NSAID. This H pylori is a, according to worldwide epidemiology is about 50% uh, patients actually they and their etiological factors is diagnosed as H. pylori and another is the most common is NSAIDs drugs use so these are the main and now let's talk about pathophysiology pathophysiology how this H. pylori produce peptic ulcer and how NSAID produce uh, peptic ulcer I think at first I will go for uh, NSAID because NSAID is a bit quite easy as pylori is quite long and its main drugs is of course uh, as we know is is it is the main effect to the epithelium is a cytotoxic epithelium cytotoxic to epithelial there is a columnar epithelium and there is a cytotoxic epithelium because they can disrupt they can disrupt the barrier there is a barrier of course I already told you uh, there is a phospholipid glycoproteins uh, barriers and these barriers they can disrupt and to make the exposure to acids so that produces the peptic ulcers this is the one reasons another is as you know COX-1 and COX-2 this COX-1 inhibitors and COX-2 COX-1 and COX-2 Two inhibitors and SIDS and this COX-1 actually they also same disrupts on the barrier disrupts on the barrier and they make the uh, repair mechanism of epithelium also decrease okay and COX-2 also nowadays COX-2 inhibitor also they have a decreased angiogenesis angiogenesis and due to that also same there is a dust disrupt of the barrier and of course they will make the they they make the they make the they have a main problem of uh, forming the peptic ulcer so this cox1 and cox2 because cox1 especially in a git there is a, a git is a predominant influence in a git cox1 and cox2 is a, actually uh, predominantly in a somatic pain and cox3 actually in a brains okay but their main uh, problem in a uh, impairment of the formation of the prostaglandin platelet formations platelet formations and main is a cytotoxic effect actually cytotoxic effect that's why that's why decrease the cox1 and cox2 receptors cox1 and cox2 activities that's why acid production is acid production is increased so as a sum up what can we say the etiology factor if the NSAID they are a cytotoxic to epithelium that's why they disrupt the barrier and they make the exposure to the acids and same times another is a COX-1 and COX-2 inhibitors and they decrease due to the NSAID by using of the NSAIDs that's why there is acid production will increase and same times there is a disruption of the barrier of the epithelial cells due to that the peptic ulcer goes this is the NSAIDs now H pylori how the H pylori do H pylori of course bacteria okay and they live in a stomach they like to live in a stomach and they feed the stomach and that's why they make they even feed gastric surfactant as we know a gastric surfactant is a phospholipids okay they may eat this gastric surfactant if they eat gastric surfactant means there is a no barrier okay so there is a more chance more prone to exposure for acids and the another condition is a they increase the acid productions SL productions they make increase the acid productions and they stimulate G cells as you know G cells means gastrin gastrin stimulate parietal cells and release HCLs again increase and the destructions destructions of D cells D cells means somatostatin means 
somatostatin decrease it means hcl increase so this is the main fundamentals problem in g cells and the destruction of the d cells that's why there is a acid production increase and the same times as well you like to eat or like to feed this gastric surfactant that's why also this uh, mucosal barrier decrease means they have a prone to uh, attack by acids and they have a acid exposures so there is a higher probability of peptic ulcers so this is the path physiology of peptic ulcers based according to S. pylori and the NSAID etiology according to NSAID and the S. pylori of course NSAID uh, mostly in a mostly in a gastric ulcers and the in mostly in a gastric ulcers we can see this NSAID's etiology and S. pylori mostly in a duodenal ulcers okay so that's all this pathophysio